about there are a couple of bagels what do you think about like, new york bagels i think los angeles has better bagels <laughs> i'm a little disappointed i really thought i was gonna get blown away but i completely agree i don't know if we didn't go to the right bagel spots probably not but everything in our area where the upset it was fire la frisco berkeley mm -hmm. y'all still got the best Empanadas, so the chopped cheese. Oh, oh god. <laughs> That's pretty fire, bro. It's so good. It's all gone. Okay. No, no, no. Which was it? That's a pepperoni one. Okay. It's like a pizza, pizza empanada. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer the OG. It is like an LAUSD calzone. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like inside. Still pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and this is the chicken parm. Vodka parm. Oh no, vodka parm. Oh good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chopped cheese, chicken parm. Mm-hmm. I agree. See what you think. Okay, let's try the asada. Let's see. I don't know if it's better than back home. <laughs> The salsa has no flavor. The salsa? It's good, but. Black. Cannot. Try that one. This is supposed to be off my store. Okay. No. No, it's uh, overall what? LA has the best tacos. <laughs> In our room, guys. This is our last day. I'm so sad to be leaving, but I'm also very exhausted. Um, New York is definitely not for the week, especially in the summertime. Definitely gonna come back, gonna catch a Yankees game. The Yankees game actually got postponed because I guess a couple of the Yankee pitchers um, tested positive for COVID, unfortunately. So we had to catch the subway back to Manhattan. Um, the subway was an interesting experience. I actually, it was pretty easy to figure out. Like at first we were a little hesitant, like we thought we were going to get lost. But once we got the hang of it, it was it was like so easy. It wasn't even complicated after that. Um, we went to go try the taco spot that you guys just saw in the last clip. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, LA definitely has better tacos, better flavor. Um, it's Peter's birthday today. Like today is his official birthday, so he is 26. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. The big thing today was gonna be the Yankee game, and that fell through. And Peter's <laughs> depressed. That's why he's not even saying one word. I'll stop the cap. <laughs> but on another note, 
we got Carlos Bakery. I'm a huge fan of this bake shop. I've been watching it since I was like in middle school. I got a slice of the red velvet cake. I should have got the cannoli because that's pretty much what they're known for. But I think if I were to have got the cannoli, I probably would have wanted to go to their Hoboken location, which is the original one where they first started off um, the show and all that. Peter got chocolate chip cookie and. A pretty sad looking snickerdoodle cookie. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I need to set you guys up. No, we can do it like right here. No? How did we do it the last time? Do we eat? Yeah, that's cool. Right? Okay. So. These are four big. I don't know what it opens up. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Here's the red velvet. Can I give it a try? Not the best. I'm not. <laughs> That's not. But I know it's because it's not their Hoboken location. Half of those are Hoboken. Let me try. Can you cut me a little piece, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. That's terrible. Yeah. That's not the best. <clears throat> it's kind of dry. A little bit. It's a little dry to be all that hype. Buddy. Got some pork in it, dude, kid. If you're watching this. <laughs> I'm going to shut the camera. You don't need to go visit the location. <laughs> you and your wife, Lisa. Lisa? Lisa? <laughs> Lisa? You heard that, Lisa? Lisa. Pete's going to go ahead and try his cookies. No, go first. You go first. You ordered it. Chocolate chip looks cool. Okay, I need a little chocolate chip. Let's see. <clears throat> Lisa, you better be in the <laughs> shot tomorrow, Lisa. No crap. Lisa. <laughs> what the fuck is this? McDonald's has better fucking chocolate. I'm sorry, I should have said you gotta beat that up. I don't like it. McDonald's has better chocolate chip cookies. My God. Now the sad, super sad snickerdoodle. These are my favorite cookies ever. So let's see. Better? Lisa needs to be in the shop tomorrow. Lisa <laughs> needs to be in the shop right now. <laughs> it's like dust. His wife doesn't work, so I'm just saying. Lisa better start working <laughs> shit. She doesn't work. So she better start. Mm. That's water, babe. Oh my god. It's like sand. Chalk. Oh my god. Um, that's just a no for me, guys. Yeah. Mm -mm. There's no sure water. It's not what you liked about New York when you did it. That would be another video. Um, yeah. So to finish off of the vlog, I would say what I loved about New York is how fast paced everything is. Um, I love how, like back home, if I have to walk somewhere, like I'm not going to do it. Like I hate walking. But here, because there's just so much more to see and there's just like so much happening, I actually enjoy walking. Like I will do a one hour walk in New York City. Because, like, there's just so much to see. And my favorite neighborhood here is definitely Brooklyn. I didn't expect that. I really like Brooklyn. And I really like the Upper East Side, like, towards, um, what's, what's the museum? The American Museum? American mm. History? Yeah, right? The National American, mm -hmm. something like that. I can't think of the name. But, um, yeah. So, I really like that area, the Tribeca area, you know, the upper class area. Times Square is just, like, a freaking another version of Hollywood Boulevard just the Times Square area like just that area it's beautiful don't get me wrong like the screens and all that but like just to walk it I was kind of like uh but going to Brooklyn and like going um to the Bronx I really liked it I like the Bronx I like that area it's it's cool I really liked it um my least favorite, I only had one meal where I was like, oh my god, this is so <laughs> good. 
So, if you guys are from the New York area and you are happen to stumble across my video, let me know where I should go next time because I definitely will come back. I just need to know, well, I'm out of focus. I just need to know where like locals go, but I am like not focused right now, so hold on. There we go. But yeah, so if you guys are from New York and you happen to watch my videos or stumble across this video, please let me know where to go in New York for the next time I visit because I would love to know where to go and eat, some things I might have missed. Um, but yeah, what about you, Peter? Overall? You can take it. Yeah, the food, I think. Did you say Tony's? Yeah, the old Tony's. Tony's was probably... It was, number, uh, it was like one or two to me. Tony's was delicious. Peter Luger, shout out Action Bronson. That was a good one too. Oh yeah, Peter Luger's was good. Yeah, if you if you if you're into steaks, you definitely hit Peter Luger's for a vibe. But yeah, other than that, food here was pretty. I don't know. I mean, in the, I mean, in the nice. Maybe we, me and Monica didn't try the best spots or like the places that you should go to, but maybe it was just Yelp letting us down on locals. We could have asked locals for better spots. Oh but, my god. But just in general, it was yeah. I know. I already know where you're going. Speaking of that, it tell was them. bad. Bagels, we went like 0 for 3 on bagels. It was, we heard a lot of hype going into it. And... So excited to try New York bagels. <laughs> like, so excited. I was like ready to have like the best bagels ever. Like, I had an open mind. No. <laughs> I did not have one good bagel sandwich here. And I don't know if it's just because we went to the wrong places. It could be. You know, we're not from here, so we don't know. So, yeah, if you guys, again, recommendations are always welcome in the comment section. Yeah, no doubt. I think recommendations is, uh, we had a lot of a lot of recommendations. It's just I feel like we kind of want to do our own thing this first time around. So maybe next time we'll, like, now we know how the, what is it called, the subway works? Yeah. So maybe next time when we come, we can actually figure it out and feel a little more confident. Yeah. We had to take the Red Bus yesterday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and that was fun, but... It drops you off like in certain locations, and then if you're not there at a certain time, you gotta jump on or catch an Uber to get to the next one. So that was a little stressful, but I think now for sure subways are the move. Definitely. Yeah, but New York's fun. New York's a good time. I definitely yeah. recommend. Nothing like LA, but it's definitely a good time. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my New York vlog. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and hit, ton uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. Talk to you guys next time. Bye!